The Situational Awareness Viewer enables emergency managers and GIS support staff to identify threats or impending hazards and understand the impact to the people and places within the area. The Situational Awareness Viewer is a configuration of the ArcGIS Web App Builder in the Situation Awareness widget and uses your common operational data to help you size up the potential impact of a forecasted hazard or threat. To configure the Situational Awareness Viewer, the first step is to organize and share your data via ArcGIS services on-premise or in ArcGIS online. Then, create a web map containing the layers that you will use to understand the impact of an impending hazard in your community. The last steps are to use the web map in an ArcGIS Web App Builder configuration with the Situation Awareness widget and share the completed app with the appropriate groups in your organization. Here, I have a web map that I have already configured to contain the layers I'm most interested in analyzing for impact information. I've taken care to configure the pop-up so that when users use my Situation Awareness Viewer, they can get more detailed information about this data by interacting with the map. To configure the application, I will share the web map. Choose Create Web App, then choose Web App Builder. To start, I need to fill in a few properties, the title of the app, any appropriate tags to help users discover this content, and a summary. Then I will click Get Started. This brings me to the configuration experience for Web App Builder. This builder is great. It provides a what you see is what you get experience so that you can test out your configuration as you build it. To start, I'll adjust the color scheme on the Theme tab. The Map tab lets me choose which web map will be used in the app. Because we started the process from the Web Map Viewer in ArcGIS Online, this is already configured for me. Then on the Attribute tab, I'll update the application logo and clear out the subtitle. Next up are the widgets this application will use to expose workflows to our users. For the Situational Awareness Viewer, we want all the default widgets except the Attribute table, so I will disable it by clicking in the upper right corner to hide the widget. Next, I will add the Situation Awareness widget to the header bar of the app. I click Set the widgets in this controller, then Add a widget. There are many widgets included with Web App Builder out of the box. For this configuration, I will choose the Situation Awareness widget, then click OK. The configuration panel for the Situation Awareness widget includes a section to add the data layers you'd like to analyze and how the information should be presented as tabs in the widget, general settings for the buffer units and minimum and maximum search distances. The weather options let you add additional context to the map when the weather tab is clicked. Save options enable users to save the incident area defined when using the widget. This can be useful when you'd like to use the same incident area across several applications. The CSV options let us choose whether all data fields will be included in the CSV download or not and Display Summary Features will show the features being summarized in the widget when the tab is clicked. In most cases, you will want this option enabled. Let's go back to the top, to the tab section. Each tab we will add corresponds to a layer in the map. Let's start with our Demographics layer. Once I've chosen my layer, I'll choose my Analysis Type. For the Situational Awareness Viewer, we will always be choosing the Summary Analysis Type because we want to get an idea of the potential impact of a hazard by counting and summarizing numerical information from our data. If necessary, I can provide a label. Then under Actions, I will define how I want the layer summarized by clicking the Edit tool. For our Demographics tab, I want to summarize fields from the layer. So I will choose a field that I'd like to have summarized, Total Population. I'll provide a label. Then choose the type of summary I'd like to perform on this field. In this case, I want to sum the total population for all the block groups that intersect my incident area. I will add the rest of the fields that I'd like to have summarized from our demographics data by clicking Add Field. In the Summary Configuration panel, I can also choose to summarize feature counts or the total area and length for the features intersecting my incident area. I'll click OK to save my configuration for this layer. Then click OK for the configuration of the widget as it stands now to test out how the demographics layer works in the app. I'll click to open the situation widget, define an incident boundary, then click the demographics tab. 
we can see the fields we configured in the widget are summarized for the block groups within our incident boundary. If I change my incident area, the numbers update to reflect the current area being investigated. The next steps are to add the rest of the layers we will use in our analysis as tabs in the widget. In the interest of time, we'll fast forward through this part of the configuration. You can see for the Situational Awareness Viewer, we're using the Summary Analysis type and presenting sums and counts in the tabs. To share this with our organization, I'll save my changes. Then from the Applications Item Detail page, I'll share it with my response group. For detailed instructions on configuring the Situational Awareness Viewer for your organization, please visit the Solutions site. Thanks for watching!